Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Rice. I'm gonna show you a video of how to download Zoom onto your iPad and then how to access a meeting on Zoom to make sure you understand how to join our office hours and how to set up our conference times that we're gonna be doing for our essays. So the first thing that you're going to do is go to the self-service app in your on your iPad and you're going to need to scroll down until you find Zoom. Zoom is obviously gonna be towards the end if not the last app. Mine's already installed, but you'll click install and then you will go ahead and find it in your iPad. Once you've done that, you're going to click on the Zoom app, which is blue and it has a little camera. So I click on the Zoom app and when I do, you're going to be asked to log in. You can log in with Google, which is going to be your school account information. Make sure you use that because that'll be what your account's already set up on. Once you've done that, you're going to be on the home screen that looks like this. Then what you're going to do is click the join button because I've already set up the meeting for you. I give you a meeting ID. You're going to receive an email for this and a link on Remind to help you. So you're going to type it in and it's going to be a long number so don't be surprised by that it's not something that mrs rice can just enter whatever she wants into this so i'm going to type in our id number for a meeting and then it says who i am okay and then i'm going to click join then once i've done that it's going to say waiting and you're going to actually have to enter an app and a password. I don't have to because I'm in charge of this. So when I do this, you're going to actually um, enter in rice 205. And I do that because it's a little easier to remember, but you will need to make sure that it's capitalized. Then it's going to say use call using internet audio. So that's going to be important. Um, up here at the top, you're going to see a couple of different things. Once you're into the meeting, you're going to see yourself. And once other people join, you'll be able to see them as well. Um, up here at the top, you'll see you can mute yourself okay and unmute yourself you can stop the video so people don't see your video and then they'll just see your profile picture or no profile picture if you don't have one uploaded okay you can also um, then be able to see under more you'll be able to chat so if for some reason the audio is not working or we're in a large group you can send a message to everyone Okay, so the, they can see it and everyone will be able to see that. That's important to note. So please keep it appropriate and don't waste our time. You can also, if you want to, set a virtual background. Maybe you don't like something so fancy. So maybe I want to see that I'm on the end of the world. So you can do that as well. I don't really care about that. It's up to you how you want to set those options up for you. You can also um, disconnect the audio if you want to. I wouldn't recommend that because you're going to need to be able to see and talk with me during our conference and also our different office hours times so that's going to be the basic when you're done with this then you're going to kick, click end meeting and leave the meeting okay and that's what it's going to look like for you um that's really all you need to focus on for that if you have any questions or concerns you can let me know but as always remember thank